How you doing? This is Hash Guide from TheCryptoist.com. In this video, I'm showing you how you can cancel a transaction on the Binance Smart Chain using MetaMask uh, browser extension. All right. So I'm assuming you know how to use MetaMask. So this video is gonna be quick. Just getting right to the point. All right. Uh, I don't have a pending transaction going right now, so I can't show you, you know, it working live. But I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it. So don't worry. By the time you're done with this, you'll be canceling that transaction out. Now, sometimes when you cancel a transaction, use a different wallet other than MetaMask that you initially used to make that pending transaction. You might have a pending transaction issue that won't go away, which you can try clearing your browser cache and, and cookies, but make sure you have all your login information for all your websites because it will log you all your websites. But also, if that does not work, you can try incrementing the nonce to the next available one yourself. Um, cut, you know, with the custom nonce, I'm gonna show you how you can activate. That may work, I haven't tried that yet. I will try that another time. Or if that doesn't work, make sure you have your uh, mnemonic seed phrase written down or saved to a USB drive and your private keys for each address that has funds in it. And then you might need to uninstall and then reinstall MetaMask and re-import all those wallets again. Um, you can re-import the mnemonic seed phrase, you can get that uh, in your settings, uh, they, it allows you to write it down again or copy it. Uh, make sure you always write it down in a notebook that you can keep safe away from all prying eyes. And you save a copy or even two copies on two different USB drives off an internet connected computer. All right, be safe with your keys, it's money. One day that could be worth a lot of money if it's not already. All right, so say this transaction right here. Uh, first, we want to activate it. All right, we gotta click on the accounts up top right, go to settings. Go to advanced and then scroll down. First thing you want to do is activate advanced gas controls. This is going to allow you to raise the gas price when you need to. Uh, you don't always need to when the network is real busy. You will because only so many transactions can be included in each block. All right, and then scroll down to customize transaction nonce. You want to activate that. Turn that on as well. All right, and then you go to your, see the, say let's say this says pending transaction right here. We're going to click on it. We're gonna open it up in BSC scan, all right? We're gonna click to see more, and we're gonna check the nonce right here. So let's say this is my pending transaction, and my pending transaction nonce is 137. What I wanna do is go back to MetaMask, click my, I'm gonna send this myself, hit send, you enter your address here, zero BNB. If the default price at that time is five, I'm going to jack it up to 20. That's still going to be very, very cheap. All right. And then you click next. And this is where you're going to edit the nonce. All right. So my pending transaction is 137. I'm going to enter 137. You hit confirm. And this should be included in the next block, which is, you know, seconds. So once you go back to BSC scan after you send it, I'm not going to send it because I, it's, I already have my nonce in there. You go back to your address and you'll notice that the pending transaction that was pending will disappear. And the only one that's going to show is that new transaction that you sent yourself with the same nonce. It completely removes that nonce if it gets verified before. Alright. If this video has helped you in any way at all, please make sure you smash the subscribe button, that thumbs up, leave a comment, let me know how it did. And... Make sure you share this to your favorite social media platform, to your family, your friends. If they're not using crypto yet, they will be using it very soon.